it's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to Photo Education Online. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick look at organizing your workspace in Photoshop. Uh, everybody's got different ways how they like to keep things organized, and um, we're not going to so much be talking about how to do it as much as how to save it once you get it how you like it. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. You know, you've got several panels here, and inside the panels, uh, you can inside a panel you can have multiple tabs, and you know, very basic things you can do for one thing is if you've got a couple of panels here that you want to connect, uh, you can drag it up till you get this little blue line, and now they're connected as one, like that. Grab here, pull them apart, you get two separate ones. Depends if you like them separate together. I kind of like to group them together. Another option is to grab the tab. Oops, just go ahead and grab the tab there and put it right in there. Now they're sharing a panel, the two different tabs. And so it's really nice if you've got two different things, like actions and history, for example. I don't generally use both of those at the same time. If it's something I'm running a lot of actions on, I'm generally not going back in history. If it's something that I'm having to go back in history a lot, probably not running a bunch of actions on it. So I kind of like to keep those grouped into the same one and just switch back and forth between whatever I need. If there's any you don't have, of course, you can go up here to Windows. Say you want the... Um, uh, the notes, for example. Um, you can open more that way if you need them. Right now, I've kind of got mine to a very scaled down actions history and then the, in my layers here. I'm really not even using the paths or the channels right now, so I'm going to drag those of those off and close them. And this is just going to kind of be my scaled down uh, toolkit right now. So let's say I put this here, put this one over here. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna, I generally access my layers more than anything else, so I'm going to put this on the other side. And one thing I saw someone do recently, they had their toolbar over here on this side. You know, it defaults over here on the left, but they had theirs on the right so that they weren't constantly going uh, back and forth across the screen. So I decided I was going to give that a try and see how I like it. So once I get everything set up how I like it, all you do is you go up here to Windows, Workspace, New Workspace. And we'll call this Larry Essentials. It's just the Essential Tools. Hit Save. And if I go up here under Windows, under Workspace, there it is, Larry's Essentials. And so if I want to switch to something else at some point, um, say I go to this painting one, and everything's moved around. I've got all the panels in different places and uh, get done with it and I want to switch back to my old workspace it's really easy workspace Larry's essentials boom everything goes right back exactly how I had it so it's really handy it's also nice too if you have very specialized uh, uses where you're only doing a certain type of uh, image processing and you want to have your desktop set up a certain way just for doing that like you're doing a you photographed a school or a sports event and your workflow for that is different than it would be for a wedding or something like that. You can have your different windows and panels open according to what it is you think you'll be using during that, that session. And it's really easy to switch back and forth. So give it a try. Uh, let me know if you run into any problems. And I will see you next week for another lesson.